Welcome back, everybody, for some more Edward Longshanks, Lords of the West, fun, happy times. Last time we did A Man of God in the Holy Land, and that was actually reasonably tricky for it being, you know, an easy campaign, quote unquote. So let's see what uh, number three brings to us of castles and kings, where we will likely be fighting the Welsh and building lots of castles because, um, that's pretty much mostly what I know Edward Longshanks for, like that and, and fighting William Wallace from Braveheart and stuff. Yeah. Edward left the Holy Land in an uneasy truce. Bybars had promised to keep the peace for ten years, ten months, and ten days. Now, with more pressing matters developing back in England, my father could only hope that the Sultan would keep his word. While Edward was away on crusade, Building his reputation as an honorable and capable leader, his father Henry died, leaving him the English crown. He returned to an England both stable and eagerly anticipating his arrival. On August the 19th, 1274, the Lord Edward was crowned Edward I of England. Wishing to expand his new kingdom, Edward set his sights west towards Wales an old enemy that had supported Simone de Montfort during the Baronial Rebellion. The Welsh prince, Llewellyn ap Griffith, constantly antagonized the Anglo-Norman marcher lords on the border. Adding insult to injury, he took Simone de Montfort's daughter, Eleanor, as his bride. My father pounced on the already fractured Welsh factions, seeking to conquer them piece by piece. But if there was one thing that the Welsh princes hated more than each other, it was Englishmen imposing their laws on Welsh territory. Llewellyn's brother, Davith, joined the fray, and the brothers waged a war of stealth and ambushes, defeating Edward's southern armies under Luke de Tanny and Gilbert de Clare. Seeing that the hardy folk of these mountainous forests and coarse heaths would not bend easily to his will, my father changed tactics. If the Welsh could not be crushed in open battle, they would be brought to heel from a series of impenetrable castles. Alrighty then, now volume go down. Travel to the site of the first castle. King Edward can advance to Imp and support a pop limit of 150. The construction of castles and cannon galleons is impossible. Wait, aren't... Is that what... Oh, the English masons are constructing castles for us. Okay. Waste no time in uh, marching to defend each castle under construction. The death of the builders um, will mean to be... Oh, so dude. March to the, the builders and stuff. The Welsh are adept at uh, mobile hit-and-run warfare. Use the terrain to your advantage and try and force pitched battles on your terms. The peasants serving the Welsh army also provide uh, retinues of commanders with resources. Raiding them will cripple the entire enemy war effort. Uh, weigh your plan paths to victory. Crushing the Welsh army requires you only to defeat one enemy, but the war can also end by merely killing both Welsh princes. Uh, King Edward has arrived in Wales with an army to oversee the construction of fortresses at several locations. The masons undertaking this task must be protected at all costs. Several English vassals allied and allied marcher lords hold lands in the south and southeast. They will support Edward by defending his strongholds with swordsmen, elite skirms, and knights. Oh, why Welsh words, man. Lilwen ap Grufid, Prince of Wales, has a seat in the western region of Gwynedd. A force of infantry and archer units uh, defend him with their lives. Uh, Lilwell's brother, Dafid, uh, operates from a hideout in the north. His personal retinue consists of heavy cav and archer units. The Welsh army has made camp to the northwest. Swarms of light cav swordsmen and elite skirmishers will issue forth in time, complemented by an array of siege weapons. March swiftly, men. We must reach the castle before the Welsh rebels butcher our masons. Let's go, go, go! So everybody's Britons, except for the Marcher Lords, who are Sicilians, a.k.a. Normans. Got a pretty decent army. We're in Castle Age. Got Edward Longshanks himself. Oh, okay, so there's, there's like a timer. 
Orders could emerge at any moment. Or, oh, they're in post imp. Got 7,028 HP castles. Alright, now I have to defend the builders. Yay. Yay. Unfortunately, Britons don't have treadmill crane. Get him! Charge! Alrighty. Almost there. Just a few skirms. We'll just send in our knights to deal with those. Also... Ooh, man, they really don't give you a ton of time. Okay, so those guys will be cleaned up. Now, if I recall correctly, I think he built seven castles, historically. I don't know if we're going to have to do this another six times, because that would seem rather tedious. And they did say there were, like, multiple paths to victory. I mean, we have three main enemies and also one ally. So we'll have to see exactly what our ultimate game plan is. Dig in and knock your arrows. The Welsh will surely strike soon. Hey, not the builders. Hey, not the builders. All right. Well, we made it just in time. Oh, we also lost our outpost over here, I guess. We have one right here. That's how we see stuff. Get him. Um, yeah, I mean, especially the skirmishers really do like to uh, have some good old AI micro. Oh, let's not take a bunch of damage from the scorps. Just let our knights go clean up the skirms and scorp. I don't know if we get uh, villagers at some point or not. The map's not too large. The second castle stands firm. Away to the side of the third castle with all speed. Tempest Just Foog it, man. And now Dash wants out, of course. Alrighty. I mean, I see resources. Uh, it's kind of weird, because they have, like, the three villagers, and they're kind of cut off from each other. But yeah, like, there are sheep, deer, gold. Oh, these are our, our allies, who are the not-Sicilians. I mean, uh, Normans are... Yeah. Yeah, that guy's dead. Like I said, it's kind of tricky because the villagers are in different locations. Okay, send the pikemen against the light cab and send the knights against the skirms. Wait, what? Another villager is coming. Castle's almost up. Uh, 
Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Um. Guess kind of have to get my bearings real quick. Okay, we only enough. Wait, how much do Britain town centers cost? Oh, it's a, it's stone limiting us. That makes sense. Okay, our allies are Normans. Sounds good. Unless you're them. So defend all three castles, and we have to defeat the Welsh army or kill the specific two enemy uh, commanders. Well, first, I guess let's get the boar. Block him! Block him! Perfect. So I'm not too sure what the role of the Marcher Lords is. I guess their role is to defend. So we get our three castles. Guess we'll just garrison our units for the time being. Now we can mine plenty of stone, so I think this is going to be an excellent time to go for some uh, Britain Towers. Can do a little bit of scouting with this extra long bowman. Uh, but naturally, before we really do that in force, we're going to make lots of villagers because there's nothing more fun in Age of Empires than playing Farm Simulator. Okay. Oh, okay, so both of the enemy leaders are in completely different areas. That makes sense. So I guess the Welsh army's kind of between them. Uh, we'll see what the better, uh, I guess, method, the better path to victory will be. But yeah, we have tons and tons of resources over here. So let's just go for four TCs. Bolden. Also, it seems like we're across the river from the, the bad guys. Dash also agrees. So I feel like it would make sense, especially considering that we need to defend to wall the crossings. That would make sense to me. Whoops. Well, sure. Um, sure, we can mill that. Oh yeah, I remember them saying that. Oh yeah, I heard the gates were bugged right now in terms of building them. So we'll see how that works out. Anyway, what's under attack? Ah, over here. So, yeah, they have murder holes, so we now get murder holes. Okay. I mean, I guess they are in Imperial. No, no, the Welsh Army's in Castle Age. They just have upgrades. Oh, wait, we have an army. What am I talking about? Or I'm not even talking about anything. I'm just a goofball. Ready. Hunter. 
Freddy. Holden. Man Daten. Holden. Greeten. Correctus. Okay, the Marcher Lords have two bases. I didn't see that one. Man Daten. Yay. Correctus. Hunter. Let's just take those guys. Holden. Take that. Man Daten. Yes. Hunter. Yay, These guys back home. Ready, hunter. Oink, oink, oink. Start some gold income going. There is this bridge here, so let's go defend it. I'm pretty sure that's going to be full walled. I wish I could have a life that's as exciting as a Corgi's. And that will just leave this one. And we should be relatively Bolden. safe. Yay. Great. Yay. Freddy. Olden. 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 Mandatum. Chopper. Chopper. Mandatum. Yes. That's fine. I guess send the guy over this way. And I don't think there's anything there. English. Chopper. Nah, I'm good. I'm K. Alright, we're pretty safe then. Kill. Oh, just literally kill the villagers. Yay. And wait, once we're around 90 villagers or, you know, thereabouts, uh, we should be totally good. Uh, I need a blacksmith. And I guess we'll just strike out from over here because, well, we're here. Great reason. Alright, so that... Honestly, I probably don't need even these guys. Get handcart. Uh, gold... I guess go start mining over here. I do need gold shaft mining. That's a pretty good one. Start to mass some longbows. And then we can click up to imp fairly soon. And we'll also do definitely do some towers. I want to, I want to garrison some Britain keeps with uh, longbowmen. Okay, that's all going to be defended. And let's start poking out and see what's going on. Brayton. Chopper. Ready. Yes. Oh, there's a little more stone over there. Quillen, mm, whoops. Ready. Mandatum. Yay. Yay. D. Mandatum. Do all that. I mean, I really don't need much food at all. Okay, this is just like a little outpost. I mean, not a literal outpost, but it's pretty much an outpost. Oh, I see. That's where their uh, armies and stuff, or their ecos are. The, uh, the other thing. Okay, I'm on my way up. Let's 
Uh, turns out, probably need some siege units. Probably. This never got built. I don't know why, but it didn't. Oh. Oh, rip. Made a little bit of a bloopsie. Get some knights to deal with those rams. Oh, there are the Welsh advancing to the Imperial Age. Ooh, we should also go for some Warwolf Trebs. Let's actually finish this thing. And then we're going to go a step further, if I can figure out where all my stuff is. Get Fortified Vault and Murder Holes. Yay! One button. Now, in a Britain mirror, um, Warwolf Trebs plus Longbowmen theoretically kill everything. <laughs> and that's what this is, pretty much. Yeah, if you guys could kill this one long swordsman, I'd appreciate it. TY. Okay, hopefully that stuff is all getting cleaned up. Get conscription. Wait, I can't research Warwolf. Oh, you know what? Uh, Edward Longshanks built the actual Warwolf. Like, the, the Warwolf was a huge-ass trebuchet. And I don't think we'll be able to research the tech until we fight William Wallace. At least I think he did it against William Wallace. But still, we can go for some tribes. Uh, 45 on wood is probably a little too much. Sure, just make sure that's covered, I guess. Get a siege workshop, and then we'll just keep creeping forward with siege workshops and towers. Get a ram, I guess. Got a tower over here, why not? Okay, let's start being maybe a little bit more aggressive. Not a dilly dally all day long. Okay, let's bring you guys forward as well. Oh, almost got ourselves some fully upgraded elite longbowmen. Yeah, I'm still not too sure which objective we're going to do. We're just going to keep pushing forward. Wait, where, where are they even? Are they not until they're we're all the way back? Okay, here's a cliff. Yes. Okay, yeah, here they are. Get the hill. There we go. This is gonna look just like every single noob BF game. Oh yeah, I need a uh, keep. Keep a going, going, going. Uh, 
Yeah, we're gonna have tons of stone for all the keeps. They do have masonry, so one bone art can be as good. Not that they were ever that great, but still. Uh, unfortunately, Britons are pretty slow at actually pushing through buildings. Here we go. Look at these bad boys. 8 plus 9 attack, and if I garrison them full of longbowmen, they shoot 4 arrows. Something like that. Yeah. The English are terrorizing all of Scotland, and it's time for us to fight back. More towers. Uh, there is some more stone over here, actually. So I guess the paths are going to diverge at this point, whether we assassinate the, uh, the two leaders or we actually just defeat the army. Um, I feel like assassinating the two leaders is probably going to be a little bit faster, since we really shouldn't have a whole lot stopping us at this point. Oh, that's another treb. Well, I guess they do have caprams, but whatever, I don't care. We have caprams too, you know. So, yeah, let's start pushing towards uh, the main bad guys. even reach this castle from here easily. I guess what is the most direct path? Idea! Let's just right-click the castle with our trebuchet and see what the hell happens. What? Um... Okay. I guess I need to get some monitors. Thankfully, you don't need SO to cut anymore. Um, how about the other guy? Do I need to get to him? You know, just because I can, I'm going to mix in some cavalier just to kill these freaking rams. Oh, these mangonels will also do the trick. Yeah, I don't know why we have to chop through. Maybe I'm just being blind. I never actually started researching Onager. This is why we started going over this way. Okay, so I assume this guy just has an... I mean, I, I assume both of these guys just have infinite resources. Yeah! Bitterness of wrath. We're all about that bitterness of wrath. Ah, 
You know what would be really handy right now? Warwolf. Just saying. Are they post imp? Yeah, they're post imp. Hmm. Well, now I can cut through. I guess let's bring some more Vills for it. Oh, this never got done. That's at 98%. That's a Doubt Tower. Because Doubt only completes his championship wins, not his towers or castles. In this case, towers, usually castles. But no, don't attack the freaking deer, man. Okay, well, we have cut a path. Uh, we don't have any longbowmen over here. In fact, I imagine we are losing a lot of units. But we're also killing a lot of them. Longbowmen are pretty dope. In my opinion, honestly, longbowmen aren't that interesting of a unique unit. Or I guess, like, they're not very... They're not very unique. They're literally just an arbalest that has one more range, one more damage, one more pierce armor. So it's just... It, technically, yes, it does have slightly worse accuracy than arbs. But... In effect, it's just a straight up upgrade. It's a straight upgrade of the Arbalest, but it's not. Like, Longbowmen are not good against anything that Arbalests aren't also good at, and they're weak versus the same things, you know what I mean? That's not to say that they aren't cool, because they're definitely cool. They're just not very, well, unique. Imo. Alright. Come on out. Ah, there he is. Difidol Griefid. Is he dodging? Is he dodging my ballistics? Oh my god, what the hell, man? Dude's got the moves. That's fine, we'll come back to him in just a second. How many. How many of my longbowmen has that tower killed? Just out of curiosity. Oh. I might have goofed, guys. Again, not that I would ever be guilty of underestimating my enemies. Garrus in the towers! No, not the deer! I'm so sorry! Yeah, shred him! Now these guys... Uh, only the longbowmen outrange the towers. Okay, got another treb trundling up. Unfortunately, we don't have bombard cannons as Britons. I mean, this takes place before gunpowder was really a thing in Europe anyway. Hence why the werewolf treb was constructed. Now, we do have some rams coming towards us, which we don't really deal with very effectively. One's gone. One more. Okay, now we have an onager. Please don't go out in front of all the other units, Mr. Trebuchet. No! Stop it! No! This is not what I meant to have happen. bit more gold over here. Ready. 
Oh boy. Like, the scenario was super easy until it was just like getting to... It's just getting to these guys. Just have him run right in. Really don't need all these villagers. Alrighty. I mean, there's a lot of arrowy stuff coming at us. I never built a market. Nor did I research two man saw. I'm super good at this game, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. AM players don't need eco upgrades, I don't either. But they also tend to have a little bit better micro than me. Just a little bit. Get him! Always trying to build on uh, the hill whenever possible. Yeah, this does feel a little infinite unit spammy, to be honest. Villagers, you do melee, you deal melee damage. Oh wait, there's the the dude, the dude we're trying to kill. Oh, can we kill him with a trebuchet? Oh, he has his own uh, unit model. He's got six base pierce armor, man. Kill him with a treb. How are these guys so good at dodging freaking ballistics? Oh my god, my longbows are getting shredded. Ah! Oh. I, well, let's just send you guys up this way. Where, where on earth are you going? Okay, maybe I shouldn't try killing him with trebuchets. That might not be the best idea. Holy crap, that food cell price is high. So, as far as I'm aware, these guys don't have any villagers, so we just need to focus on uh, sniping the, the guy. The bad guy. If he doesn't have freaking insane dodging skills. He has insane dodging skills. Oh boy. They can't build any forward castles for closer trebs, man. Okay, the castle's gonna go down, and that means that there, he can't produce any more trebuchets. So the trebs he has are his last trebs. Now it's just like we're playing Tariq Ibn Siad again, sniping production buildings. Okay, so we're gonna need to send everyone over to Cyan. I mean, you'd think I'd be able to snipe them a bit more easily. But they have the uh, the dodging skills of uh, I don't know Neo. Oh! Oh, he's actually attacking. That was your last mistake, Lil Wen. Lil Wen. Okay. 
Wait. Uh, let's get some forward siege workshops just in case. Oh. I guess we could have gone for a navy. Maybe that's how you're supposed to get to him. I mean, I, I guess it would just be a, a secondary entrance in case you needed it. And this guy with his Britain CA, man. Of course. Loath would I be to ever finish any of these scenarios relatively quickly. There we go. You know, I guess I spent I spent so much time trying to do scenarios quickly in speedrunning, I guess. You know, just taking your time every once in a while, being bad. There we go. It was probably easier just to defeat Green. But dead is just as Fighting on without our bold leaders is to no avail. We must submit to the Feels bad, man. And pray for his mercy. Yeah, I guess they did have a navy. No, wait, let me turn up the volume. The Welsh fought valiantly, but they were no match for Edward's wrath. My father's forces outmaneuvered Llewellyn's forces and smashed them at Orwin Bridge. The Welsh prince fell to the lance of a lone rider who knew not the importance of the man whom he had slain. His brother Davith was captured at Nanny's Glen and declared a traitor to the English crown. Edward pitilessly condemned his bold adversary to be drawn and quartered. Wales William Wallace now firmly is taking notes. Grip. He bestowed upon me the title of Prince of Wales, which shall be an heirloom of my line henceforth. The network of formidable fortifications that Edward constructed throughout the land shall ensure that the Welsh bow to the English crown for generations to come. And to this day, the heir apparent has the title Prince of Wales. Pretty good, KD. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, these guys were a little annoying in the end, but we got done. We got done. I'm not really too sure what Blue was doing that whole time. Wait. They got a lot of resources from nobody. Taking a quick look at the map. Uh, I guess green was just kind of scattered around everywhere. Sort of headquartered over here, but they didn't really have any great defenses. Yeah, here, uh, Lil, Wen, Lil Wen has some docks. Oh, look, the AI researched uh, First Crusade, but they didn't... They're probably not uh, aware... Like, there, there's no AI script for them to, like, use sergeants at all, so they research the tech, but the sergeants just stand there. Oh, that's pretty funny. Alright, everybody, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, yeah, definitely leave a like if you did, and all that stuff. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for Tomb Tarbard.